going back to how does the film and television industry work, so let's suppose someone has a reputable agent, they've checked them out and they know that they're uh, in good standing, there's no grievances or complaints, and then they've sub had this agent submit on behalf of them to a studio. What's the process like? What should they expect? What's the time frame? What if it's optioned? What, what happens? <laughs> That's a lot of questions at one time. <laughs> um, certainly, uh, it does take time. Uh, there are more than a thousand pieces of material submitted every month to the studios, you know, uh, maybe slightly less to larger production companies, but it's a lot of material. Somebody's got to read it, it has to go up a chain of command, so it does take a little while. Uh, I would say reasonable time. They usually get things done, you know, read it, or, and we'll be able to tell you in four to six weeks, roughly. That's what it used to be when I was working at the studios. It could be maybe slightly longer now, although a lot of, lot of times um, it's now, everything is now on, on the computer. So you could just read it at your, at, at your leisure. You don't have to wait for things to be mailed and that kind of stuff. But I, I do think that a lot of times it also depends on who else is submitting material. There may be a more important agent or there may be an agent who has a script that has some famous actor or director attached to it, they are going to get preference. So sometimes scripts get put that, pushed down a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. So you do have to watch out for that. And I do think that it's important that people understand that for first timers, it's, you're going to be there uh, up towards the bottom. And so it probably would be longer. So I would say, you know, four to, say four to six weeks. And if you don't hear anything, what you do is you just email or call your, your, your agent and just, you know, ask them about it. Um, also find out from them if they've heard anything because usually they don't just submit it to one place. They usually try to submit it to a few places because they want to get a consensus of what, of what in general, what the producers and, and the um, studio people are looking for. Well, let's suppose somebody says, we like it, it's a go. Mm -hmm. What happens? What are some of the possibilities? Well, first of all, I don't think they're going to say it right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they will probably say, we are interested in this. Can you tell us more? And one of the other questions they're going to ask, what else do you have? It's because they want to know, is just this person, if they like your writing, they're going to know what else do they have? In what genre is it? Is this somebody that, a writer that we want to kind of like maybe... Uh, get a jump on their other material. They're always thinking ahead because they don't want to just put all their eggs in one basket. They want to know that there's somebody that's got uh, free-flowing talent that's going to continue to build a relationship on. And that's why agents are always going to ask that of you before they take you on as a client. What else do you have? What else do you have? And that's because the studio and the, pr the producers always ask, what well, what else does this guy have? You know, they want to know, is this, does this writer have more material? Because they would like to look at more material.